Plaza Hotel Finishing Program with Beaumont Etiquette, what we do is we actually cater to adults and children, children five up and also teens. And then we have a third program, which is for adults. And that is in one of the programs there, we teach dining etiquette, social etiquette, um, and the Duchess Effect. I trained in England underneath a former member of the Queen of England's household. And so what I was trained in, I'm now seeing her literally going through. So we see her when she was on the steps in her engagement, waving in a certain way. And now we see her practicing the Windsor wave, which is elbow down, fingers together, and just a slight kind of wave like that. We see her sitting differently. So she used to cross the knee. Now she does what we call the Duchess slant or the Cambridge cross. Um, the different parts of her everyday interaction are changing and she looks very different. She looks very polished. She still has her Megan style, which we love. We don't want to lose, but she is evolving. She's wearing her British hats. Um, she's, she's doing so well. We're really excited. Afternoon tea. I'm trying to channel Megan when she had tea with the Queen. Yes, and the corgis are sitting at her feet. Um, can you imagine the pressure she would have been yeah. under? Okay, so a couple of things Megan would have learned, which we also teach here at the Plaza okay. Hotel. So here you have your handle. It's always at 3 o'clock. So clock, three o'clock, then you have your spoon, your teaspoon. Now the saucer always stays on the table unless you stand up, at which point you would stand up with the saucer and hold it. Okay. Now when you hold, let me just show you how okay. to hold a cop coffee cup versus a teacup. So it's quite different. So coffee is just index yes. and loop. So index and loop. And a teacup is different. A tea is you actually pinch and support. So thumb meets index supported by your so middle you finger. Left hand. So are you left handed? No. Nope, okay. So you could take your left to pick it up and then you want to put your thumb to your index and support it by your middle finger. So you actually, and then you have the rest of your fingers all tucked under. Wow, oh, wow. And never it's pinkies out. Okay. Never pinky out. Um, perfect. Wait, I thought that pinky was supposed to be out. <laughs> no, so pinkies are always in the joke. When you're in London, you'll see the joke is that you can spot an American from a mile away because we all have, always have our pinkies out. This doesn't feel that comfortable yet. And if you need then two fingers like that at the bottom oh, to help sturdy, oh, and that can give you a little bit of um, support and then make sure your elbows are in and then you would kind of go ahead and put down. Now if you wanted to stir your coffee or your tea, um, say we're having afternoon tea and remember it's afternoon tea not high tea, then we wouldn't stir clockwise or counterclockwise, it's just 12-6, 12-6. Oh. Just like that. And we don't want to make any noise, so none of this. And then wow. at the end, just to get the drips off, just a nice little drip like that, you don't want to do this because you could chip my china. <laughs> And then you just put it at the top, like so. Wow, I have been breaking all the rules. <laughs> but can you imagine, and Megan, learning that in front of the queen, practicing that, it's a lot of pressure. Wow. She's, yeah, she's doing really she's well. She's the perfect person for She the, is, she's for, perfect. For the <laughs> okay. Show me a couple of no's. If okay, you will. so the nose would be this because our knees and our ankles aren't together. And this is what we do. We get nervous, we, we get anxious, we move, <laughs> right? Our shirt, skirts or dresses shimmy up. Um, this is a no. Um, this is a no uh, because we want the heels always touching and facing the floor. Okay. So if we cross, we still keep our knees and our ankles together at all times, and this is informal etiquette, and we would just cross like that, keeping the heels touching the floor, which is the key. Knees together, ankles together. Okay. If we want to, we don't have to, we don't have to cross, and in which case you could just keep your knees and your ankles together, straight on, or you can do something, uh, this is a technique I created quite a few years ago called the Duchess Slant, which we, if you think of Princess Diana in front of the Taj Mahal, we see the Duchess of Cambridge practicing this, and now we even see Megan practicing yes. this. Um, it's called the Duchess Slant. So knees and ankles together, slanted to the side like this, hands link and down or one over the other, and then body facing forward. And this helps protect your modesty if you're facing a camera or a crowd, um, you're taking a photo, and you want to make sure nobody's seeing up your dress or skirt, and also elongates the legs and is a little bit of a nice polished look. Automatically feel more regal. I don't know Good. if it's just because of the setting. You look amazing. It feels <laughs> better, um, but it's going to be for a lot of people something that you have to make a conscious effort to do, at least for in the sure. beginning. For sure, for sure, 100%. And this is formal etiquette. So we teach you the most formal so you can always scale down, but at least you know it. So if you get the invitation to the, world, the wedding, then you are set. Yes, I'll be on the grounds, but... <laughs> you never know. You never, you never know. know. You never know. You never know. So this is my thought of what a curtsy is. 
<laughs> okay, you're close, you're close. So the only difference is with modern etiquette, we don't have big dresses with lots of tool and layers, so we don't need to pull out our dresses or our skirts. So hands just stay to the side, okay. and it's up to you whether you take your left or your right behind the other. Megan and the Duchess of Cambridge both choose their left behind their right. Um, and then your hands to the side, and then you would just take your left behind your right, and then lower like that with a gentle nod of your chin Do you and keep then your up hands again. to the side just to the side just like that if you had a handbag you could be holding your handbag um, but otherwise we just go like this to the side and dip and back up perfect a lot more ladylike than what I just did <laughs> you look great